64 Valiant Steed here, and I am going to attempt to change the light bulb behind the push button transmission. And um, I posted a video probably a month or two ago, and I did it on the countertop in my house because I had extra parts and somebody wanted to see it. So it seems that uh, at least one other person liked the video and wondered how to do it and was happy to see it. But uh, I'm going to try to do this in real time, somewhat real time. And um, all right, so first thing I'm going to do is use an Allen wrench, and I'm going to use the three thirty seconds Allen wrench to remove the set screw behind the wiper switch. Now, if you only have the um, V100, um, you, you only have part partial bezel, so you don't even have to worry about this first half of the. Uh, video which makes it so much easier but if you've got the V1 V200 and the Signet 200 well unfortunately you have to go through this okay there's my wiper switch and my leave my set screw in there so I don't lose it got a little bezel nut there's a I've already been trying to get some things out for this car. Um, there's a, a special tool that you can get that has four prongs to remove that. light switch. You have to reach up underneath and find the little button to push to remove the switch. Now I was doing it a minute ago so I would already got it done but you, in order to do it you have to find it and as you pull on it you push on the button back down below and sometimes you gotta alert, search and if I can relocate it, and I can't relocate it right now, but you're gonna have to do that also. Push the button to get it back in to engage. Anyway, I'd already done that. That's why the hands are so dirty, and uh, can't do that on camera. It's just too much. I have to move the camera and all that out of the way, and get out underneath through the uh, laying down a little bit. All right. Use your special tool. If you're lucky, you don't want to scrape up the whole inside of your bezel. You can also attempt to remove it if you don't have the tool with a couple of awls or a couple of small screwdrivers and just turn it to the left. This works also. works better so you don't tear up the inner part especially if you buy one of the new reproductions of the new the bezels. Now is that yes. Now that thing moves around, so it kind of hangs down, but there's the second one. Alright, hardest parts are over. Then, I'm going to remove the set screw from underneath the parking brake lever. I believe it's the same size. Make sure to keep your set screws inside. Alright. Ok, 
Okay, now my screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, remove the upper and lower screw. I've been putting off doing this because um, well, I didn't have enough bulbs. I changed the L I changed to LED bulbs on the dash, and I didn't have enough. I decided to go with the green instead of the white. All right, voila! You know, if you're lucky, you still have the little felt on yours. Be careful so you don't all the buttons don't come off. And you're going to remove the drive. Should just pull right out as so. And I don't know if you can see date down in there, but let's see what I can do. You see there's a light bulb right back there. What we're going to do is take, I think this was a 3 8 hose, like that, and I get down in there and slightly push on the head of that bulb. Try to release it. Oh wow, first time, I cannot believe it. Came right out, and it, see how it's stuck on the end of that? That's the way it's supposed to work. It doesn't always. <laughs> All right, so my little incandescent bulb. It's the smaller globe, but it's the same size base as what you would find in the dash. All right, and I'll show you. Just happen to have a couple of extra bulbs here. I know it's a little blurry. But uh, you don't want to put the larger head. You want to use the smaller one. Now, I'm not putting incandescent. I'm going with LED. And um, there's a I have a couple different kinds. I have green. I have white. I even have blue. And I've tried them. And I have the surface mount display red. But I don't like them all. Um, the white ones give off a little bluish, you know, LED kind of day glow, white blue, and uh, the green, the green are okay. I've kind of grown accustomed to it. So what I'm going to end up doing is putting my green in. Now I've got to put this back down. So get your hose and your light bulb and if I'm not mistaken, yep, that fits perfectly in there the prongs are at an angle and I'm going to put them put that in there and just uh, put it in and twist, hopefully it'll work first time I'm having a hard time seeing in there it's easier to do it on the countertop I think it's in. See deep down in there? Alright. Wish I could just test it real quick, but I'm just going to double check. Yeah, it's in there. Now I'm going to reverse my steps, put it all back together, try it out. So, just slide that drive right back into place like that so if you don't have your felt the felt sort of hold them all in place I was I didn't have mine on mine originally and I ordered something on eBay got another transmission shifter and it just happened to have it on there you know what I'm gonna put this the other way this little cut side put that on the downside don't know if that's right, but 
That way it stays in place better. Alright. I painted this. You know, they're a little broken on the back. It's all chewed up. I don't ha it's broken on the inside, but it works for now. I'm going to end up getting a new one. Of course, everything's falling down. That's got a little little keyway seems to fit a certain way like that so all these little nuances to this all right screws Now the light bulb worked, it's just that it wasn't matching green, like the, let's see, it wasn't matching green like the dash, so I'm hoping that it pushes off more of a green tint. keep the top one a little loose so that I have a little wiggle room. Don't over tighten, you'll crack your bezel. Just and that's already. I like all my screws to go the same direction. <laughs> But uh, you can't always have what you want, right? It's a little off. It's alright. Put the parking knob back on. I just make sure the little piece of plastic, there's a piece of plastic on there. It's all the way up. Tighten that down pretty good. and firm. I'll put this one back on first. So I get it started with my tool. Now this happens where it doesn't go on perfectly. There we go. Sometimes you gotta do start it. There. Again, this is gonna chew up the inside, but being that this one's older and I just spray painted it, I'm not gonna worry too much. I want that fairly tight so it doesn't move around and the windshield wipers are going. Okay. It's notched and if you look inside there's the flat spot. I'll make sure your set screw is out far enough. really close to the dash here, so...
be a little tighter. But I'm in a hurry to get this done to show you. Alright, now. This will be fun. easier when the camera is not where it's set. I could probably do something like this. Get it lined up. that before. Don't know if that's gonna work for me. No, no, not yet. is the hardest part to line up. Alright, so I'm not trying that. <laughs> surprisingly caught yeah it's caught so in the meantime I'll just use my trusty awls Now the funny thing is, is that that light switch behind, it's a square box, moves around. I want to make sure I can reach my button. Okay, the button's where it was last time. Fun part, getting your light switch. There's a little triangle here on the end. So you, when you push, you gotta push the button and you gotta engage this triangle in until it will pull up for you. And this will be the fun part where I'll get frustrated because it may take a minute. Oh, 
can't believe it. Of course, I can't see that the light's on. Oh, it is on. Voila. It's even greener. Great. I love it. It works. Can't see the, the green on the on the other parts, but um, wow, pretty bright. There you go. I can't believe it. It's how you change a push button. I hope you enjoyed this, and or at least helped you. I may not have enjoyed it because <laughs> who wants to watch somebody frustrate, get frustrated with uh, trying to remove something? Anyway, thanks for watching.